I vegan, you guys. I'm Nicole Dursway, your head chef, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make an amazing guacamole today. This is super basic, but I just love guacamole. Who doesn't? Let's go over what you're going to need. A little bit of salt, a little bit of chili, whatever hot sauce you like. I just do a couple dashes at the end. doesn't matter, guys. If you're a tapatio person, I don't want to get into a war about it. Small onion, or if it's a big onion, just use half. Chopped, about a half a cup of fresh cilantro. One nicely diced Roma tomato. And I have one finely chopped jalapeno here. I got two limes ready to go. These limes are huge, so we're probably going to only end up using one of them. And then I've got four super ripe avocados. The riper the better. Make sure they're squishy. Okay guys, so we're just gonna spoon out all the avocado meat here. Avocado is so good for you. It has a ton of omega-9 in it, and these are really good healthy fats. Good for your heart, good for your skin, your hair, your nails. I like to get a little avocado in every day, actually. Dun, 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 dun. Spooning all these out. This is a big batch because we're having friends over tonight and we are going to have some awesome chips and salsa and some guac and I'm making some tacos, so we're gonna put it on there. Okay, some people are like, how do we get these pits out? I've seen people go crazy. They just like bite it and turn. Okay, I do that when no one's looking. But since you are looking, this is the way I was actually taught to deep pit it. So, knife, but a little karate chop. Oh, careful. No, be so careful. This is kind of dangerous. Anyways, just get it down. This one's loose already. You're basically just supposed to hit the pit and then it, and then just kind of give it a twist. And it will see, you know, it doesn't work. It works. That's how it's supposed to work. Sometimes you gotta just get aggressive with these these veggies. Don't let them tell you who's the boss. You tell them. Every time you're eating guacamole, you're usually with friends. You're usually having a good time, or you're on vacation, or some super cool restaurant. It's instantly like laid back. Anytime guac's present, like nothing too serious is happening. You know, that's what I like. Boom. Scooped out, ready to go. Easy peasy now. Just dump your ingredients. Boom. Jalapeno. Tomato. Cilantro, onion, crack of the salt. Don't get overboard on the salt. You gotta keep in mind that most of the time you're gonna be serving this with salted chips, right? Your know, tortilla chips already have salt. So some people go overboard and then by the time you dip it, it's too much. This is to taste, so check this. Oh yeah, like I said, a couple dashes of the hot sauce. Ba -da -da. If you want more spice, do more. Okay, and then, you know, if you have a lime juicer, Squeezer, that's easier too. I'm just gonna kind of squeeze this. This is a trick too. If you don't want the seeds in there, you can kind of squeeze it upside down. The juice will still pour out, but then you don't lose the seeds in there. Now, I'm gonna just be mixing this by hand. I'm gonna break it all up with a fork and toss it. Uh, if you want like a really less rustic guacamole, then you could just simply, instead of in a bowl, put all these ingredients into your food processor and get it done that way. That's fine too. Be generous with the lime juice, guys. If you don't put enough lime juice, it'll start to brown, and nobody likes that. This one's super juicy. I do like my guacamole like a little bit more rustic. I like it if there's big chunks in there. I, I like people to know that it's just made fresh, that it's handmade. So I just leave it a little chunky. Also, you know what I've done before? I've used, um, what's it called? A, a mashed potato masher? I think we have one. Whoa. This is so good. This is even quicker. You want enough time for all the flavors to blend, but you don't want to make this too far in advance. I, you know, I like to just make it really fresh, like an album when the party starts. Also, if you're a garlic lover and you want to just chop in a couple cloves of garlic, that's awesome too. All right, guys. Guacamole. Taste test. It's actually perfect right now. All right, guys. See you later. <laughs> I want you to subscribe to my channel. I vegan you. Yes, hit subscribe. I vegan you. I'm Nicole Dursway, and I teach you amazing vegan recipes that you can cook at home in your own kitchen. And they'll be super popular with your friends, and it will save the baby seals. So subscribe. You want to believe in unicorns? Subscribe. You want fairies to stop dying every day? Subscribe. You want Prince Charming to finally show up on that white horse? Just subscribe. Okay? <laughs>